ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಕಲ್ಪತರ್ವಶಿಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೈತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ನೀಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಸರಣ್ಯಂ ವೇತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪನುತ ಪಾಲ್ಲಭವದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧುಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸಸಾಗ್ರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಶಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಕೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪಂ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ದೇ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
तावद भयम दबिन देह सुहित निमित्तम तावद भयम दबिन देह सुहित निमित्तम ताब स्प्रिया मन भवो विपुलश्च लोभ तावद ममो इति अशद अवग्रह आरती मूलम जावन ने जावन नौत अंग्रिम भयम प्रवृणीत लोक तावद भयम दबिन देह सुहित निमित्तम तावत स्प्रिया परिभव विपुलश्च लोभ तावद ममो इति अशद अवग्रह आरती मूलम जावन नौते अंग्रिम भयम प्रवृणीत लोक गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री श्रील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पौपात परमंश जगदगुरु टोल आंटिल एंड अनलेस देयर इज हंड्रेड परसेंट सबमिशन अन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान वन कैन नॉट स्पीक अबाउट देर एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ नॉट पॉसिबल गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री श्रील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पौपात परमंश जगदगुरु टोल Until and unless there is hundred percent submission unto the lotus feet of Bhagwan, one cannot speak about the absolute truth. It is not possible for him. Some sort of fear can come and stop him speaking about the absolute truth. Cannot speak. Actually, point is that if there is no trace of la puja patishta, nothing. If there is no smell of love, puja, patishya, nothing in your life, only and only then you can speak about the absolute truth. If there is no smell of, if there is no smell of love, puja, patishya, anything in your life, if your life is totally dedicated unto the lotus feet of Bhagwan, only and only then you can speak about the absolute truth. Other, otherwise, not possible. Some sort of fear can come. You can remember same question. Parikhit Maharaj wanted to put in front of Shukdev Goswami. Atho prichami sangsidhim yogi nam param gurum purusho seha yat karyam mriyamano sasarotha. Atho prichami sangsidhim yogi nam param gurum. पुरुषो शेह यत्कार्य मृयमानस सर्वथा मैन इज मोटल एनी टाइम वी कैन गो अवे फ्रॉम दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड देर इज नो सर्टनिटी देर इज नो गैरेंटी एनी टाइम मे बी फाइव इयर्स बॉय गोइंग अवे मे बी फिफ्टीन इयर्स बॉय गोइंग अवे नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ एज देर आई कैन ग्रो एज अप टू एटी और नाइन्टी हंड्रेड आई कैन नो नो सियोरिटी so when this is sure when this is 100% sure that when it is 100% sure that we will have to leave this material world then unnecessarily we are going to develop attachment with this thing that same husband wife friend children why it's very impractical when it is sure that we we when it is sure that we will have to go away from this material world then why unnecessarily we are going to increase attachment here there so many why is one kind of bondage na no? because bhagwan sri krishna speaking jang jang ba opi sarana bhavam tajati alante kalevaram tang tamiva kantiyo tad bhav bhavita at the time of death at the time of death with what conception and feeling you are going to live body you will have to take birth accordingly no respite when you are going to live your body that time what kind of conception there inside your heart what you are thinking what you are feeling according to that you will have to take birth be careful if you are thinking about your pet dog inside your room then you will have to become a pet dog next life no other way so be careful about that so parikhit mara asking man is mortal so you could you please advise me what is the topmost sadhan what is the topmost sadhan we can get 
What is the Sapna Sabhan? We can follow and we can get the maximum, most benefit. Asu Prichami Sangsiddhim Yoginam Param Gurum Purusha Seho Yat Karyam Miryamansa Sarvata at any cost, which is the topmost bhajan procedure. Then the answer given by Shukdev Goswami was that. Nibhrittvamananam michyatam makuto bhayam yoginam nipunirnitam hare namanu kirtanam. Etat nibhrittvamananam michyatam makuto bhayam yoginam nipunirnitam hare namanu kirtanam. Etat nibhrittvamananam Michyatam akuto bhayam yoginam nipa nirnitam harir nama anukirtanam. Parikhit Maharaj asking question and Sukhdeva is giving answer. Etat nibhritta manana michyatam akuto bhayam. Those who want to become fearless because he is Vaishnava. He is actually Vaishnava. When death is just in front of him, he is watching death coming, but still not fearing. With smiling face, going to live. With smiling face, going to leave body. Follow? He is Vaishnava. He is going to smile and going to leave body. And for him, everybody crying. Everybody crying because he is living body. He is smiling and living body. Follow? So, etat nibhritta mananam michyatam akuto bhayam. Akuto bhayam manne totally fearless. Akuto bhayam, there is nowhere he feel fear. Nowhere fear. You can remember the case of Jaravharaji Maharaj. When Vishalpati going to take the sharp weapon, okay? Take the sharp weapon and Jorabhara, his head is there. Going to, you know, cut the head. Still then, Jorabhara Ji Maharaj is stand and free. How is possible? When just one second is going to cut, taking the weapon, but still he is stand and free. Uh, tension free. This is only possible when you are hundred percent inclined unto lotus feet. When you are sure that Bhagavan can arrange everything. Parlad Maharaj, tension free. Hiranyakushipu going to throw him into boiling oil, going to throw him into fire, going to throw him from the hilltop into ocean. And going to put in a cave and seal the, seal the hole. But still, we cannot find that Prahlad Maharaj is in tension. You find? Prahlad Maharaj tension? No tension. Prahlad Maharaj no tension. Because now everything done by Bhagavan. Who is Hiranyakushivu? Who is that politician all around the world? What they can do? They can try their best. Follow. Nobody can do. So, absolute truth is not such a chief thing. So, absolute truth is not such a chief thing. So that your manpower, your your, you know, your agitation, your manpower, money power can kill that absolute truth. Absolute truth is not such a chief thing. So that anybody out of their manpower, money power, agitation, violation can, you know, can kill. That absolute truth. They don't know what is their absolute truth. Kongso wanted to, Kongso wanted to destroy that absolute truth. Kongso wanted to destroy the absolute truth. Hiranyaku wanted to absolute that absolute truth. Hiranyakyo wanted to destroy that absolute truth. Hiranyakyo 
Hiranu Gosibo wanted to destroy the absolute truth, but what is the result? They are foolish, number one. They don't know the absolute truth can never be killed, be it in the form of Harikatha, be in the form of, you know, strong advice. Nobody can do. If they are going to do some agitation or violence, if going to kill the speaker of the absolute truth, they can, Bhagavan can destroy them all together. All that destiny can be finished. They don't know. What is the, what is the consequent? So, etat nibrittamananam michatam akuto bhayam yoginam nipponinitam hare namanukirtanam. Hare namanukirtanam is the only thing you will have to take shelter of that Harinam Sankirtan, I mean Guru Vaishnav, then you can. So our Guru Varga, our Guru Varga, I mean those who are going to follow Prabhupada in Toto, I am not speaking about others. Cheap sentiment, I don't have cheap sentiment. I have no cheap sentiment, so I cannot speak, you know, something hodgepodge. Those who are in line with Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta, Saraswati Goswami, Prabhupada, those who are actually in line, yesterday I told about who can be called, who can be said as a, as a true representative of Gauriya Mart. This way, maybe um, some of our Guru Vargo, highly educated, highly educated. Some of them, not so highly educated, maybe educated. Some of them, not at all educated. I told you that Aranya Maharaj, Pope speaking, you can go for preaching. Eh? Preaching is not educated. Oh, so what? You see the IQ, you see the Bichara Pope. Why Pope is going to send Aranya Maharaj to a preaching, whereas Pope have full idea that he is not at all educated? Illiterate man. That is the excellency of his Acharya Sif, unique Acharya Sif. That is the excellency of his unique Acharya Sif. He is not going to think like you and me. Not that. According to age factor, sometime, according to age factor, sometime we can see some disciple is senior, you know, senior to Prabhupada. Bhakti Viva Bharati Maharaj. Bhakti Maharaj was much more agent than Prabhupada. So many devotees like that. That's not a big issue. Guru is Guru. Guru is Guru, na? That's not a big, you know. So, those who are completely dedicated unto a lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada, we, we can see their preaching procedure. Like Srila Bhakti Kumo Santo Goswami Maharaj, my beloved master, spiritual master, Siksha Guru. You can see, all our Guru work like Parambuja Keshav Goswami Maharaj, Sridhar Goswami Maharaj, they are not going to make any compromise with, they, are ne never, they never wanted to make any compromise with this Sahajya group, they never, but still, they are preaching very heavily. Today is a Tiruvaptiti, disappearance day of this great devotee. I mean, the most beloved disciple, son of Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Raghur Prabhupada. Actually, he was uh, from Mindapur, Mindapur, Pashim Mindapur. One place is one. His father was a big landlord. His father, Baikunta Babu. His father, Baikunta Babu, was a very big landlord, actually. Follow. They were three brothers. The youngest brother is Sela, you know, Radha Raman. Why Radharaman? Radharaman actually, their home deity, their home deity is Radharaman. Their home deity. Previously, their home deity is Radharaman. According to that, 
the name of this, you know, son, youngest son, was the Radharaman. Radharaman. So actually, Vaikuntha Babu was a very liberal personality, heart was very big. So, very often he used to call all different sadhu in his house, he used to invite them and arrange festival, harikatha, everything. So, when first time he is going to meet with Gauriya Mat, what is the incident? Actually, Sila Bhakti Hidai Banadiv Goswami Maharaj and Sila Bhakti Pama Turi Goswami Maharaj, that time he was Pranamananda Bhamachari, both of them went to his house, to their house, in course of preaching. And Vaikyanta Babu, Vaikyanta Babu going to call him, invite him, invite them. So accordingly, their Harikatha Kirtan going on for some days, some days. This was his, this was his usual practice. Whenever any sadhu is come here, four, five days, seven days, he used to arrange. Harikatha. That time, specially, Sila Pranamananda Bhavamachari watching that this small boy, that time very small boy, and seven, eight, ten years maybe, very small boy, he was very much interested to hear Harikatha and do Kirtan. He was very much interested to hear Harikatha and do kirtan, and he used to, uh, most of the time when there is a lizard, lizard time, he used to enter into, he used to enter into deity room and sit there. He used to enter into deity room and sit there, do some kirtan, sit very nicely, concentrated in harikatha, this, that, play some harikatha. So, Someday, actually, Sila Pranamananda Bhamachari suggested Vaikuntha Babu, Vaikuntha Babu, your son is ex exclusive son. Your son, the youngest son, Radharaman, <coughs> the small son, is very much interested in Harikatha Kirtan. So, could you please uh, give this son uh, with uh, so that we can take him to Gauriamat. <coughs> Could you please give, give this boy with us so that this boy can stay in Gauriamat? But well, why not? Well, why not? You can ask him. If the if the boy is ready to go with you, I have no objection. If the boy is ready to go with you, I have no objection because I know life is life is uncertain. I know life is uncertain, if a boy can go to Gauriamat is very good, you can check. And then the boy was, was very much, you know, he agreed to go. The boy was very angry to go, very much angry. Then Ban Maharaj and, you know, Bhakti Pumatpuri Goswami, I mean Pranamananda Maharaj, both of them, taking the boy and going to meet with Prabhupada in Ulta Danga. That time there was Bhagavad Gauri Mission was not con constructed. Bhagavad Gauri Mart was not constructed by that time. So they are going to Ulta Danga Johnson, Calcutta in a rented room. That's why that time in a rented room, in a rented room there was Gauri Mart. So he went in front of Bhavuta, Prabhupada and uh, Prabhupada was very happy. He was admitted in a school. He was admitted in a high school. High school. He started reading. He started, you know, reading actually. His schooling was done in Calcutta, Ultrading, there. And at the same time, doing some, uh, some seva in Mat, or the same reading and going to school, everything. Follow. When school final school, when his is, when is, uh, high school reading is over, then actually, you know, his father, Vaikuntha Babu, came also and Prabhupada asking, you would like to stay here and continue your, continue your seva here in Math or you would like to go back? What do you like? 
Father coming, Vaikundu Babu coming and asking the boy, if you are interested for higher education, I can arrange, I can arrange if you are interested to, uh, you know, do higher education, I can talk with Prabhupada and uh, can speak to you. Follow. Then Vaikundu Babu talking with Prabhupada and uh, he was given chance to read Sanskrit, this, that, higher education, actually, because material education, what is a Prabhupada, very often, Prabhupada very often used to speak in front of Radharaman. Jada vidya jato mayar vaibhav tomar bhajane badha anitya sangshare maho janmiya jipke karaye gadha. It is Bengali. Jada vidya, all material education, Jarabidya Jato Mayar Vaibhav, it is the opulence of Maya. All your material higher education is nothing but one kind of opulences of Maya. Jarabidya Jato Mayar Vaibhav, it is one kind of impediments, it is one kind of impediments in the way of your bhajan, Bhakti Mitra writing. Jarabidya Jato Mayar Vaibhav, Tomar Bhajana Bada, Anitya Sangsare Mahoja, in this unstable material world, going to you know, put some magic spell in your life. I mean, some sort of infatuation you can develop. Mahajanmiya. And the jib and the jiva who is going to get material education ultimately become ass. You don't understand the meaning. Ultimately become ass. Suppose some judge, magistrate, barrister, oh, big, big. They are going to take unnecessary, they are going to keep some burden on them. Unnecessarily, unnecessarily, unnecessarily they are going to, unnecessarily they are going to take some burden on their head. Right now or not? Some materialists are like George, barrister, you know, or doctor or engineer, whatever. Unnecessarily, you are going to take some burden on your head. Whereas your burden, whereas your burden can make you ass. Ass, you know, ass. That's why Prabhupada Bhakti Mantra was writing. Jala vidya jato mayar vaibhav tumar bhajane badha anitya sangsare maho janmiya jivke karhe gadha. At the time of departure, I am going back. I come for forward, I'm going to go back. At the time of departure, mother going to take the boy in lap and kissing on his forehead. Santokusi Maharajar mother going to take the boy in lap and kissing on his forehead and speaking, my boy, you are going to fulfill the uncommon desire which is not common. Very high so be careful and try to complete your, you know, determination. Try to complete your resolution. Go. So after that, when Vaikuntha Babu and uh, wife also, I mean the mother of, you know, they are coming. When Popa is asking, you like to take your boy back. You like to take your back, uh, boy back to home. Then mother and father speaking, no. We already give this boy for your seva. For your seva. Oh, we cannot give back. We cannot take back. Then, then, for Popat permit, he was giving permission to go for, for further education with Sanskrit grammar, everything. Follow? But in Calcutta, that facility was not... Uh, um, that facility was not available in Calcutta. So, Prabhupada wanted to send him to, to Mayapur. In Mayapur, some Pandit was there and a disciple of Prabhupada, he, sta you know, he started you know, reading Sanskrit grammar, everything, everything okay. Finally, day by day, finally, day by day, the pressure, the pressure of Seva increasing. Follow? Or, Different seva branches opening. Different seva. Day by day increasing. So the small so when the small boy 
when the small boy going to when the small boy gradually growing up he is also watching there are so many seva and the number of seva is not uh, big so and uh, he started reading but in, in between some time he need to go here and there pop ascending need to go na like there was a very big rainy season rainy season torrential rain and shortage of paper i mean nodia prakash every day they are going to publish so what you are going to publish tomorrow you will have to get ready all paper everything na so there was shortage of paper and especially it was it was rainy season pranamananda prabhu my guru pat was speaking to popa popa there no paper how we can print so well uh, is there anybody is there anybody whom we can send to bhagavat press in krishnanagar krishnanagar bhagavat press there we can get because our that time near baktalok paramangsa maharaj kenaram prabhu his name was kenaram prabhu he was there he always managing that press bhagavat press you can go you can send somebody pranamanand prabhu speaking if you ready if you if you agree if you agree then we can send uh, no radharaman prabhu oh, well why not in the meantime i forget to speak you he was giving hari naam when he came he was giving hari naam hari naam not diksha diksha was done after he was giving hari naam so he went on doing everything hari naam okay and after that in bagbayar mot in bagbayar mission his dikha was done later later first of all his hari naam was there after that dikha was done some years after in bagbayar gorya mission at present go but that was one mission there was no division that time so anyway so by the order of prabhupad he is going to collect paper from kishanagar bhagavat press the small boy is cycling ah my full vigorous energy cycling and going there and give the letter to him a prabhupad ask paper he pack the paper and give and in cycle is running and all all place of water logging water logging always low lying area low lying area or water logging so somehow this boy is going to you know run but by chance he find there the by the packet the they bind you know back side is very loose binding yes. going to fall down he get down from the school from the you know cycle bicycle he is uh cannot find any rope nothing because who can give rope in the road na in middle way immediately he open the open the dhoti he open the dhoti he open the dhoti and there was uttariya you know uttariya where he used that uttar small uttariya as a you know down cloth and that dhoti he is going to use at the as a binding rope tightly bind in sky cycle the small boy and running and coming immediately uh, in front of popa popa was very happy oh the small boy is so courage eh? so i was very happy so this way time to time different kind of problem arising different different seva he used to manage all seva there now day by day popa arranging exhibition symposium exhibition different harikatha program different different places need to so what to do popa is asking to radharaman prabhu would you please mind if i send you to cooperate in our you know exhibition well why not then popat giving training and going to send different different uh, dhaka exhibition calcutta mayapur exhibition he was a guide guide you know if any outsider coming cannot understand the meaning he is going to explain a small boy going to explain in dhaka here there you take friend this way 
His Sanskrit education was not possible because there is some breakage, no? Because Sanskrit is such a language, you will have to learn throughout your Quran. If some breakage, you cannot remember. Even Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu speaking, even Mahaprabhu speaking, you can find in Chaitanya Bhagavad, I think. Yeah. Sanskrit Vyakaran is such a thing, if you don't look three, five days, ten days, you can forget. So complicated. So, when Prabhupada wanted to send him to Dhaka, then he wanted to discuss the matter with Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj. What will happen if I go to Dhaka? I like to go, but I cannot continue my Sanskrit education. Uh, I like to know the, uh, I like to hear the advice of Prabhupada. Then Prabhupada advising, you see, Prabhupada going to advise him, see, my son, if you like to get Kripa, if you like to know all Tattva Jnana, everything, if you are going to take preparation, Prabhupada giving advice, very important, you should remember. Prabhupada speaking, if we are going to take training, if we are going to take training, if we are going to, you know, take some training, if we are going to elevate ourselves for Krishna Bhajan, if we like to get training, like Sanskrit, Bengali, Hindi, you're going to give some time for learning this, that we want to, you know, get some qualification. Papa speaking, if we are going to give some, if we are going to get some qualification to do Hari Bhajan, in course of attaining that qualification, we can lose our time. In the meantime, I can die. And no father in this world, no father in this world can demand that by reading Sanskrit, grammar and everything, I was successful to attain Bhagavan. No father in this universe, world. No father in this universe can say, eh, I learned so much Sanskrit and Vyakaran and Vedanta, so I was successful to get Bhagavan. Nobody can speak. Papa speaking. If we are going to give time to train ourselves, I mean to get some qualities, in between we are going to lose some time of bhajan. And life is so important, life is so rare. So what you prefer? Because by Guru Seva, Bhagavad Seva, I can give you hundreds of examples, thousands of examples. They are getting Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. They can develop. Bhagavad Tattva began by, by Guru Shiva. It's possible. This way, he was agree. Santu I mean, the other Raman speaking, Gurudev, Bhopat, what you speak, that is fine. <laughs> Radha Raman Bhamachari speaking, Prabhupada, what you speak, that is fine. I am ready. I have no dissatisfaction. I can go, no problem. So, yes. From Dhaka, Martin Church going to write one letter to Prabhupada. There is no man who can do kirtan. Please, if you can send some devotee, Brahmachari, for kirtan, it's more practical. Then Prabhupada called Radharaman Brahmachari. You like to go to Dhaka? Yes. Alone you can go? Alone? Small boy? Yes, I can go alone. Ori Baba, small boy. You can go alone. Yes, I can go alone. Yeah, alone you can go. Yes, I can go. Then, first of all, you will have to go to some water journey. There is some two-fold journey. If you like to go to Dhaka, that time, you will have to go through water, waterway. I mean, launch. After that, you can drop. From there, you will have to catch bus. Follow what I say. So, on launch, they are going. A small boy is going to get ticket and sitting in a chair in advance where there is a window, there is a nice window, he is going to sit. In the window side, very nice launch going. And after that, all launch become crowded because all everybody coming. Then some old man comes, hey, you are a small boy, why you are sitting in front of the window? 
Anyway, you don't need oxygen. Oxygen, actually, old man, they need oxygen. Ah, useless. Another old man coming, actually, father, mother, they are actually useless father, mother. They are going to throw this small boy into mud, whereas no training, no education, nothing. At present, this is going on. Radharama is not going to give any answer. Radharama is not going to... Ah, at present, father, mother, useless. As a small boy, they are going to give him mud, no training, no education, nothing. Ah, become become sad. It's going to all pass bad remark. They are speaking all rubbish. Then Radharaman Marmachari took trouble to go away from that place, vacant and go to the window side. I mean, hey, standing, indifferent, not spaki, not become angry, nothing speaking. Follow. And after, uh, uh, within half an hour, there is a big possibility of some torrential rain and wind, storm, big storm. Follow. Cyclone. Then the crew of the launch is going to announce, now our condition is very bad. You all are requested to call your, you know, Bhagavan. Uh, we have, we out of our control. We, do, we cannot put any guarantee that the launch can reach a place. So maybe it can capacize. So you all call your God, you know, through Bhagavan. Everybody crying. Out of that one old man, he is crying heavily. What will happen about the marriage of my daughter? I am going to take all the items of marriage, ornament, cloth, everything. If the, if the, if the launch is going to capacize, I am going to die. What will happen about the marriage of my daughter? <laughs> Some other thing is foolish. You cannot hear the announcement. You will have to speak about Bhagavan. Why you are speaking your daughter, father, God? Useless. You know. Then the old man speaking, Bhagavan cannot hear about us. We never did bhajan in our life. The small boy there, eh, Bhagavan can hear about him because he is doing bhajan. Just after, after 10 minutes, 15 minutes, he is speaking all rubbish about that, about the small boy. Now he is calling, if you can call your Bhagavan, then Bhagavan can save us. The small boy. They bring the small boy among them in midst and requesting. Then the small boy speaking, actually, my prayer cannot reach up to Bhagavan because I am not sadhu. No, you are sadhu. No, no, I am not sadhu. <laughs> but my Guru Maharaj, I can pray to Guru Maharaj, Prabhupada, he can say, well, you can go on chanting Harinam Mahamantra with me. All Muslim, Hindu, Christian, they all started doing it. The small sadhu speaking, hey, do Harinam, Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Then all Muslim, most of the people Muslim, they started doing Mahamantra. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare <laughs> Then after that, after within half an hour, the sky was clean and the launch going to reach the destination. Follow. This way, this thing happened. Actually, I like to speak about the special topics about him. How big his heart. Anyway, after Prabhupada gone, I like to jump because time cannot permit. After Prabhupada left his body, a Prakita, you know, then the situation was, you know, not favorable for the small boy to stay. So he was in a confusing because small boy, he was oh, what to do? Then he wrote one letter to Vaikuntu Babu, father, this is a situation. Uh, who can take care of me? I don't know. So if you permit, I can go back. So Bhaikundu was writing, yes, why not you come? You can come back. Then in the meantime, Hayagrib Hayagrib Bhamuchari, I am in this Bhag Bhakti Dvaita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, and uh, our Guru Maharaj and some devotees, they are going to Mednapur, Bhaikundu Babu, I know, and they are speaking to Bhaikundu Babu. You don't have belief, you don't have belief in Prabhupada. Why, why, why? Then why you are why you are going to call your son to your house? But I know I don't call him. I don't call him. He write later about the situation. I say, well, if you like to come, if I am not going to agree that he can he can feel helpless, na. If I say don't come, the small boy he can he can feel helpless. 
That's why, actually, if you like to take him, okay. Then Madhugusi, I mean, Hayagi Brahmachari and all devotees are Guru Mahaj, going to convince, your life is dedicated already. Your life is already dedicated unto lotus feet of Prabhupada. You already took, you know, initiation, everything, and went out of house. Went, went out of house. Then how possible you come? Actually, this situation, what? Okay, no problem, come with me. Then with Hagrid Brahmachari and Guru Maharaj, they come back, come again. He is not at home. After certain some time, they took decision to make a common mot with some god brothers like Sila Parambuya Jajavar Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Vita Mahadev Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Vita Santo Goswami Maharaj, some of those you know, god brothers. They together, they wanted to establish one bhat. There my Harikatha, so many Harikatha was there, long by actors and I am not going. Samananda Gauriya Mata in Mindapur. Mindapur, not Mindapur, Mindapur district and Mindapur city. The name of the city is Mindapur. Follow. District Mindapur and the city also Mindapur city. That is the capital. I mean, follow Mindapur. So there actually, uh, they started doing bhajan. A long history, I don't like to speak. And uh, so they started doing bhajan, preaching everything, Madhu Goswami, everything, Jaiva Goswami. In the meantime, Srila Bhakti Vita Madhu Goswami, I mean, Hayagri Brahmachari requesting, Hayagri Brahmachari requesting Srila Jajavar Goswami Maharaj, why not you give in? Sanyas to Radharaman Brahmachari. Why not you give sanyas to Radharaman? That time, actually, our Hayagir Brahmachari was not sanyas. He was not sanyas. But he is speaking, why not you give sanyas to him? So he was initiated into sanyas, very small age, not young, young age, very. Very enthusiastic energy. He started preaching and doing kirtan, so nice. His voice of Kirtan was so nice, uh, we cannot speak. Oh, no. So, you know, started doing Kirtan, preaching everywhere. So, in the meantime, he took decision to make one temple there in Minnapur, special temple in Keshari. Keshari, you heard the name? Keshari? Where at present is Samadhi, you can find. Keshari. Keshari is a very important place because it is the it is the junction of Mendapur, Bankura. You can speak Bankura, also Mendapur. It is junction. Bankura district, Mendipur, you know, all junction. A very important place, very important place in the sense because the Samananda Prabhu, Rashikananda Prabhu, they all done massive preaching there. Massive preaching word is applicable for them because by their darshan and kipa, everybody used to change their life. Massive preaching possible for them. Even Rasikananda Prabhu, even Shamananda Prabhu speaking, Shamananda Prabhu, Shamananda Prabhu giving is somebody coming to take initiation. Shamananda speaking, Shamananda Prabhu speaking to his grand grandson. Shamananda Prabhu giving instruction to his grand grandson. You give initiation to him. How much confidence? He is giving instruction to grandson, sometimes to grand grandson. You give the incentive. So they are over sanguine, that power is there. They are over sanguine, that power is there inside him. So this way, that place is very important, very important place. So it's full of temple, but still there is no Goryaman. Finally, Srila Santu Goswami Maharaj wanted to procure one piece of land where he can establish Goryamat. I mean, Gauriya mission, Goryamat. But land was not available. At all, land available, position is not suitable. At all, land available. At all, if some land available, but place is not suitable. Or place is suitable, money is very high, money very high. 
This way, one landlord came to Santukusi Maharaj speaking, I can give one piece of land to you free of cost, provided you can you know, give some you know, witness in the court in my favor. The landlord speaking to, San, to Santukusi Maharaj, I can give free of cost this land. If you can give some witness in, in my favor. But the Santu said, why? What kind of witness? But you will, have, you will have to speak this. You will have to speak this way in front of lawyer. But uh, I cannot speak lie. I cannot speak lie. I cannot speak lie. Then I cannot give land. I don't need your land. I don't need, need your land free of cost because I cannot speak lie. You see, <laughs> he will leave. After that, he arranged one place at present, what is not? Arranged. There he arranged. So he was never, because he is from a high family, no? He is from a high family. He is not habituated with the low, low caste people, low mentality. No, no, no. So he established, and finally, Srila Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami was also big preaching going on. Madhav Goswami also going to make temple in Calcutta, Mayapur, here, there are so many temples. Santu Goswami also make temple, but Jajabha Goswami is not even going to make temple. So they took decision that Jajabha Goswami is our senior, senior god brother. We like to give this mod to him in his name. Follow. Though in the joint venture, they jointly wanted to establish, but finally they took decision our senior godbrother, you know, Jai Bhagavad Maharaj. So we like to give him this mod. So they give. And Santu Maharaj started preaching here and there. Madhu Goswami Maharaj, a massive, you know, here and there. All different places. All main, main places. Finally, what happens? You know, no, the Keshari Mot was constructed very nicely. And during date, during Deity installation ceremony. During during deity installation ceremony, Sila Bhakti Kumo Santogoshima wanted to call the king of Orisha, king of Puri. You know the king of Puri who is going to you know do you know clean the road at the time of Ratha Yatra. Are Baba Pratap Pratap Radha King Pratap Ruddha Destiny, successive order, is king of under whose control all Jagannath Seva going on? King, King of Puri. Then after that, our Bhakti Daita Mahana, Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj, Anna, he was, a request, he was you know, giving order by Srila Santu Maharaj that king is, king, is, king is very friendly with you. King is very friendly with you. Why not you go and request him? Then, uh, no. that time Maharaj was Brahmachari, I think. I mean, our, our Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj, that time. So, he went to invite King, to meet with King and going to propose. There is some function you will have to attend in Minnapur, and a uh, deity installation ceremony and mort installation. King say, I cannot go. Not possible. King say, I am not possible, because I, I am already, uh, already an engaged. <coughs> that day, I will have to go to some other place. <coughs> I will have to go to some other place. Then, our Bharti Maharaj speaking, everything is possible by the desire of Jagannath. Only you can... And only you can cut the no. Only you can cut the no. No, you can cut. Ami jete parbona, I cannot go. You can cut the no. You can go. Only possible. Only you can omit this word. Oh. No, actually, no, you can go. And finally, they could discover that the place is nearby. Where king is supposed to go, he will have to go that way. King is going to attend some function, you have to go that way. So he requested, King was agree. 
This way, by the blessing of or you know, Jagannath Puri king, you know, his name is Dibbo Singho. He also give letter to my Guru Mahaj. When Guru Mahaj is 100 years ceremony, 100 year ceremony, 100 years completion, then he came, he gave me one letter. I also printed it in my book. Dibbo Singho, Dibbo Singho, Raja Dibbo Singho, you know. So, by the blessing of king, the temple was opened and Maharaj was very happy. Finally, Maharaj opened, wanted to open one temple. Finally, Maharaj wanted to open one temple on Puri. Puri, you know? Puri. It is near Sargodwa. Sargodwa, you know? Sargodwa. Right hand side, you can, if you can go there, Gosai Maharaj mode. Right hand side. Left hand side, if you go, you can go, you know, so, you know, there is, you know, near uh, uh, that uh, Haridasa Samadhi Mandir, there is a crossing. Four, four crossing. Straight if you go, you can go Gorubat Sai, you can meet with ocean. Left hand side if you go, Haridasa Samadhi Mandir. Right hand side if you go, you can go to Gosai Maharaj and Gosai Maharaj and Santa Maharaj Maharaj. And if you go back side, I mean this side, you can meet with Bhagavad Gauriya, Chatak Parvat, Chatak Parvat. Hello. So Chatak Parvat, Gauravad Sai, and right hand side Sargodha, this all junction. Just five minutes, not two minutes only. Very important place. You go, you can find a small temple. Because financial capacity also very low, and that time still it was possible. Now, at present, you cannot arrange one, one inch, one inch land in Puri. One inch, one inch by one inch. One inch, this much land, you cannot arrange. So costly. So costly, you cannot imagine. One Maharaj arranged one small room or some attached bath. He is paying 80 lakhs. <laughs> so costly. So that time it was not so costly anyway. So he arranged, but the building was very old building and building was not uh, suitable for making a mat. But still, Santumaraj, Pankhtumaraj giving order to Sila Bharti Maharaj, our Bharti Maharaj, you will have to make one wise mat. You will have to plan one nice mat here. Mara speaking, yes, I can, by your order, I can make, but, but, but be sure, because your land is very small piece of land and the building is old building, so I can make one exclusive design. I mean, temple here and Nattamandir inside, not adjacent because that's not possible, no? Temple I have to make here, you have to go through this land, come to Nattamandir there, not attached. Because your land is not there, huh? very small building. So whatever you think you do. So Maharaj is going to make one master plan, going to make a nice building, nice temple, and a seva kanda, I mean those devotees where to, where to stay, all arranged. Very nice. Very nice. I, I Many times I went there. How possible this small piece of land where Maharaj is making, uh, you know, Tulusi Mancha, Deity, you know, temple here, and backside there is Natta Mandir, and oh, up there, you know, devotees staying up, no place, no. So nice design. So, the temple was, you know, successful by the design of Sila Bharti Maharaj, our Bharti Maharaj. Bharti Maharaj, and uh, in the meantime, by the Kripa of Sila Bhakti, Daito Madhugo Maharaj, at present we are successful to go and do Kirtan at the place, birthplace of Sila Prabhupada. No one, billions of dollars they have. Billions of dollars, billions of, you know, dollars they have. But they couldn't arrange. 
So you can understand, na, everything is not possible by manifar. Everything is not possible for manifar. So I have manifar, I can do not that. It is completely depend upon the desire of Bhagavan and Guru. Otherwise, why? Otherwise, why Madhav Goswami Maharaj? Why Madhav Goswami Maharaj? Not anybody. Why, why only Madhav Goswami Maharaj is successful? Why? Because there is a desire of Prabhupada and Bhakti Muntal. So much litigation, so much litigation, so much fighting, so much. But anyway, Madhav Goswami Maharaj is successful. So that time, by the desire of Prabhupada, land, you know, plan and everything going on plan. Say, so by the instruction of Srila Bhakti Vita Madhuga Simaj, they started initiative to make the temple, design everything. So, three, at least three, four, at least three, four active devotees at least three, four active devotees need, need to stay there. At least three, four. Because so many construction, no? One has to go to builders' house, one there, engineer, there, are so much. One has to look what planning is doing, their contractor. So at least three, four disciples of Sila Bhakti Vita Madhu Maharaj, they need to stay in Puri. But where they can stay? They took decision to stay in the building or in the mat of Sila Santu Goswami Maharaj. Follow. Santu Goswami Maharaj was so happy. Santu Goswami Maharaj was so happy. He is dancing, he is speaking that you all doing the seva of Prabhupada. You all doing the seva of Prabhupada. I could not do Prabhupada seva. So it is my duty to do your seva. Surely you can stay here. In my temple, in your temple. So you see how big heart. Four devotees continuously staying for one or two years. Continuously there. Construction going on. But Bhakti, you know, Komu Santu is very happy. I'm very happy. I could not do this seva. But at least if I can help you, so indirectly I can do seva or propa. So you can see here. By at the time of Ratha Yatra, our Bharati Maharaj speaking, requesting Santu Maharaj. Our Bharati Maharaj is going to request uh, Santu Goshi Maharaj, Maharaj, and uh, actually Ratha Yatra coming. All your disciples, everybody can come here, and the place is very small. So, could you please permit us to go and stay there in a Dharma Sala? Dharma Sala, you know, Dharma Sala? For some days uh, during Ratha Yatra, Dharma Sala, we can stay there. After the Ratha Yatra is over, Santu Goswami is asking, Why? Santu Goswami is asking, Why? Why you can go away from this temple? Well, actually, Ratha Yatra, you are so many devotees. So what? So what? How I can allow you to go away of my mud, whereas you are doing the seva of Prabhupada? Maybe there are hundreds of people can come to the temple. We can arrange. We can manage somehow. We can manage anyway. How I can tolerate? How I can tolerate? You can go away? No, I cannot allow. So this way, it didn't allow. So, so great heart. I can go up and down. You can remember when Maharaj was very young boy, very small, young boy. And Popad, you know, giving order to you know, Radharaman, Radharaman can write one article. Prabhupada yeah. giving order to the small boy, Hey Radharaman, you can write one article, we can publish in Gauriya. Radharaman was a small boy, I mean 15, uh, 15, 16 years, you know. So Prabhupada, Prabhupada giving Radharaman writing one very, very nice article about Guru Tattva. And sending through one godbrother, the godbrother they are reading, they are going to complain to Prabhupada. Prabhupada, Radharaman, so much adversity, going to change Siddhanta of Chaitanya Charitamrita. What Siddhanta change? Jive Sarupai Krishna Nitya Das. But he is writing Jive Sarupai Guru Nitya Das. We must change it. No, Prabhupada said, write. Radharaman, write. 
Is Siddhant is right? Ah, right? Yes. Is right. Siddhant is right. We cannot cut. Actually, Radharaman is right. Jive Sarubhai Guru Nitodas. Right, Siddhant. You can print it. No problem. He has printed. Prabhupada was very happy. Prabhupada was bound to speak. You see, Radharaman is a very small boy, but Siddhanta Bichar, everything so perfect. A small boy, not getting maturity, but still he is writing, he is speaking, he is adversity. Any seva, yes, I can do. Any seva, yes, I can do. Follow. Never say no. Never no is not there. In the dictionary of Santagosi Maharaj, in the dictionary of Santagosi Maharaj, and in the dictionary of Hayagir Brahmachari, there is no question of no. No word is not there. If you search dictionary, no, no. <laughs> no, no. No is not there. Oh, yes. <laughs> Everything is possible. So you are successful. So anyway, Srila Santagosi Maharaj directly one day told me, I was in Manton, because time to time, uh, I need to go there to some Maharaj, Sometimes some foreign devotee requires, you can take me, Samal Krishna, you can take me there to Maharaj. Yes, I can take. I can take. Yes, so some foreign devotee I am taking there, talking with Maharaj, coming back. Yeah. So, Maharaj someday speaking, someday speaking to me, my boy, one day, Prabhupada give instruction. Now, today, our Radharaman Mamachari can speak Harikatha in the Natta Mandir. <laughs> Radharam, small boy, 16, 18, maximum age, 17, 18. I can speak Harikatha. Uh, news coming to. Uh, Popa speaking to me. Yes, you will have to speak. Yes, I can speak. My Guru Kipa. Everybody should sit. Everybody should sit here to hear him. So Radharaman, small boy, going to be sit in Vyasasan and speaking Harikatha nicely. And Popa sitting in the corridor, you know, balcony, you know. Natamandir balcony, up in the corner, Popa in a chair, doing Harinam and hearing Harikatha. Radharaman speaking very nicely, boldly. After Harikatha is over, when devotees coming to pay Dandavat to Popa, Popa speaking, small boy. Was speaking very nicely. I heard Harikatha. Santamar speaking, if I could know Prabhupada is hearing directly from there, I, my heart, I was supposed to fail my heart. Prabhupada hearing my Harikatha, sitting there in the balcony. I, I couldn't discover, I was speaking. But Prabhupada speaking, small boy, was speaking all right, Siddhanta, very nice. Really so. It really so. It never depends upon how much education you have. You cannot believe me. It never depends upon how much education you have. Only, you, only the thing you need is Guru Kipa. Only the thing you need is Guru Kipa. I can speak about myself. One point. Big, big Sava in, inside Maud. Sometimes some of my godbrothers, those who are politicians, they used to play a trick with me. Guru Ma speak me, go, you can speak Harikatha. I am very uh, not aged, I am speaking in Vyasasana. What they are doing, they are senior to me. All they are coming in front of me sitting, so that I feel nervous. They automatically, purposely they are coming, all they are together. They come in front of me, dark, dark, sitting, so that I can feel nervous. When they see I am not feeling nervous, then after that they go away. <laughs> because they don't know I am speaking out of Guru Kiba. Sometimes they used to do this kind of trick. <laughs> but they say, I am not nervous, then they go away. <laughs> so, Santagusi Maharaj were all and very smart. Smartness coming out of Guru Kiba. There were so many, so many times I used to go to Manton. Well, Maharaj usually, last time, used to stay in Manton, you know, follow. So, uh, sometime from Mott, they are sending me to invite Santu Goswami Maharaj to attend the function of uh, uh, 90, uh, 90, 96th 
anniversary, 98th anniversary, 97th, he was every year going to invite. Sometime he used to go and invite Maharaj and bring Maharaj with me in a car. Very nice, you know. And sometimes there is function in his mat. There is also, he is also going to invite so many devotees, so many men, men, speaker, I mean Maharaj from different places, they are coming to attend. Someday what happens? There was one big function, annual function. So, so many big, big speaker. One professor from one very important college. He was invited, he is coming. Santumara is speaking, everybody is speaking. Everybody is speaking Harikatha. After that, the turn, after that, the turn of that professor coming. So that professor was allowed to speak Harikatha. In the Harikatha, he is speaking, Aham Brahma Asmi Mayavadi. Nobody could expect his Mayavadi. He is speaking, Aham Brahma Asmi. Maharaj was very much upset. He couldn't fight with the man directly because public is there. So let him speak. Follow. Let him speak. After that, the Harikatha is over, Shantogama Santogosima started speaking. Why in course of speaking Harikatha, Santama is asking that professor, you are sure? You are sure that you are Brahma? Yes, I am Brahma. I am Brahma. You are sure that you are Brahma? Yes, I am sure. Then taking the stick and going to beat it. Ah, you are meeting, meeting me. Santama taking the stick. His stick, na? Going to beat that man. A man be afraid. Why you are beating? You just told you are Brahma. Brahma is nirvikar, without any reaction. That's why you are a liar. So, Santamar is not speaking so many things, no argument. Only take the stick and beat. Ah, I fear. They just now you told you are Brahma, nirvikar, without any reaction. That's when you are not Brahma. You are speaking lie. Then whole assembly started laughing. <laughs> this way, Maharaj's common sense was so fine. Within what you can speak, one hour, two hour, Maharaj can solve within two minutes. Maharaj can solve within two minutes, not speaking so many things. Only two minutes Maharaj can solve all problems. So intelligent. So this way Maharaj used to solve. Sometime there is normal Harikatha. Akadoshi day, Dadoshi day, no. Or oh, previous day Akadoshi. That time Maharaj used to speak Harikatha. Very nice. Kirtan, Harikatha. So many old men, local people coming, some grandmother going to take one, you know, grandson in his lap and coming in the temple. He is sitting, hearing Harikatha. And the small boy, small boy, he started crying. Wow! Santo Goswami become very angry. Hey! Go away. Here, here, only those people can come who can attend Harikatha with full sincerity. Your Harikatha hearing, your hearing Harikatha is optional. Optional. You can go away with the chart. No? Not optional. One day another uh, grand, uh, grandson, you know, small boy, I mean, uh, seven, uh, seven, eight years boy, is coming with grandmother to attend Harikatha. Santumara speaking Harikatha. After the speaking, tomorrow is Akadoshi day. Akadoshi day you should fast. Fasting is very good because it is a must. As for Shastra, you must, you must remain fasting, you know, maintain fasting. So, fasting is good. You must do Kirtan, Harikatha, fasting. Or at all, if you like to take something, you can take a fruits and flowers, fall full, little bit. Not so much. No bread, chapati, you know, rice, gyu, nothing. Panchasasa, five. Uh, Panchasasa, Ravi Shasa, private. The small boy actually going to home and just, just the next day, next day Harikatha was due and the boy is supposed to go to school and the mother and grandmother giving in chapati everything in his tiffin box. Giving chapati everything in his tiffin box. And uh, I'm going to arrange rice for the boy and you can take and go to school. Grandmother? Just yesterday, Maharaj told that today rice, everything prohibited. You are just going to give me chapati rice. How? Why is that? The grandmother became very angry, foolish. What is there? They are discussing in mud. They are discussing in mud. 
when we are going outside, then outside everything, all our arrangement is different. Motor kota mote, gorer kota gore. When we are going to mot, then we can hear mot. When we are not going to come, we, why we are going to confide? Foolish, what? Huh? But the smallest boy is very sincere. He is speaking, yesterday just Maharaj told, you are not to take chapati rice you are giving me. You see, they are all kapat. Those hearing each other. But the small boy is very good. So this way, <coughs> every time, different kind of problem coming in my life, I used to run to Santu Goswami Maharaj to find solution. I, Bharati Maharaj is there, Bharati Maharaj is speaking, Bharati Maharaj outside, I went to Santu Maharaj, follow. So, in my mat, Guru Maharaj's 100 years completion, com, uh, complete, you know, going, you know, ceremony. So, all magazine, one is Spanish book, one is English, one is Hindi, one is Bengali, all responsibility on us. I don't know Spanish, one Maharaj was there, only I need to collect all article and have passed over to him. And all other language, you know, some taking responsibility, Hindi, English and Bengali, English, Ramdas, Bengali with me. And overall in church, I was. I was there overall in church. So I was doing. So all those who are senior to me, they are chiding me. You are a young boy, you have no idea about Siddhanta, don't cut our writing. I am editor, actually they make me editor. But all senior devotees, they are chiding me, don't change any writing in my, don't change anything. They have their right, they are senior to me. You are editor, don't change your writing. I say, okay, I can see. <laughs> Follow. What, they can chide me, I am not so a senior. They are chiding me, don't change any, any word in my, our article. While, you know, okay, okay. But when I read their article, many mistakes. Many mistakes, Siddhanta Virod. One Pandit in Vindavan, two Pandit of Sanskrit, they are writing like child, all wrong. All wrong. I think they are the, I mean, even our, you know, seventh class standard boy can write nicely. When I protest them, they become very angry with me. I'm very sorry. All wrong writing. I freshly write and edit and publish, they become very angry. But nobody, after that some senior Maharaj is there, he is speaking. And another Maharaj from Vindavan, they write some Siddhanta Viru. So what to do? If I change something, they become angry. So I took decision to go to Sila Santu Gusri Maharaj. Follow, to find solution. Maharaj, I can speak some Siddhanta from this writing. You will have to speak what is right and what is wrong. Who write? I, I can speak you after. I cannot speak right. Yeah, I just speak you one Siddhanta and another Siddhanta. Mane, same thing, this Siddhanta is right or this Siddhanta? Maharaj say, you read. I go on reading this. When I read the Siddhanta of that Maharaj, Maharaj who told it? A wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Then I read my fresh Siddhanta, edited Siddhanta. I say, okay. Then I, everything, stamp mark. When I print and follow this way, I get one confirmation from Santu Guru. Do I know? But still, uh, when they are going to protest me, when the book is published, why you change? They come to fight with me. I say, you go to Santu Guru Maharaj. He told me this. They cannot speak anything. They cannot speak because I took the confirmation. Nah. Siddhanta, I write everything. They become silent. When I say, you go to Santu Gusi Maharaj, he speaks this Siddhanta, then they cannot speak anything. They stop. This way Maharaj used to help me all the time. He used to speak me. I can show you the letter. The letter was printed. In Santu Gusi Maharaj's, you know, at the time of uh, disappearance, when they published magazine, that time that letter was published. Santu Maharaj wrote me one letter. When that time I was very sorry, due to some dirty situation, I was bound to go to Vrindavan and stay in Surya Kund, you know. Nobody want to help me. So I was there, Radharani. There, Maharaj, one devotee went there, is a disciple of Santu Goswami Maharaj. I wrote one letter. I wrote one letter to Maharaj, speaking all my painful situation, 
nobody allow me to do my seva, they are going to make politics. Maharaj finally write me one letter and blessing me everything. What all Maharaj told, what all Maharaj told that time, I mean 20 years back, what Maharaj told me 20 years back, maybe more than 20 years, it was in the year of 2002, I was in Surjagun. That later speaking all the fact, all the truth. It came true in my life. He gave me in, give, in writing. He, he writing to me, from heart you like to do Hari Bhajan. From heart you like to do Hari Bhajan. Bhagwan can bless you. You, you. you will have to do, you will have to do Sampradaya Seva. You have to do Sampradaya Seva, Sampradaya, Gaudiya Vaishnav Sampradaya. I say, Hari, I am useless, I am a beggar, I am staying here. How I can do Sampradaya Seva? Sampradaya Seva is only possible for a big Acharya, important Acharya, famous Acharya. Sampradaya Seva, your responsibility, responsibility, Sampradaya Seva, what all he wrote, all came true in my life. Wonder. What he wrote long ago, that came true in my life. Really, Bhagavan gave me Sampradaya Seva. Everybody giving me responsibility to write protest notes against this society, that society. I wrote, successful. I have books. They already get that book, but they couldn't give any answer. They already received big committee. They came to protest, but they could not do anything. They told me, I are going to give answer. You give? You give all your brain, you give answer, they couldn't. Still today, they couldn't give answer. So this is the, you know, Kripa of Srila Santo Goswami Maharaj is, you know, so straightforward, so plain-hearted, so nobody can, nobody can make fool of him. Main point, nobody can make fool of him. One characterless, one characterless Brahma, so called Brahmachari in South Calcutta, he used to say. Someday he coming to Santo Guru Maharaj. Maharaj, you know, ah, you coming? Yes. Uh, why? Uh, I like to take sannyas from you. Uh, actually, you give, give, characterless, characterless. Maharaj have all information. Uh, yes. Yes, I can give sannyas to you. You come and, you know, kill me. I can give sannyas to you. I know. You, <laughs> you kill me fast. <laughs> you fly. <laughs> Anybody coming, uh, Maharaj? I like to stay in a temple for two days. You know, uh, here in Calcutta, I have some seva. Yes, you can speak. Stay here, no problem. But evening time, you have to speak about Nityananda Tatta. Nityananda Tatta. He is going to take prasad and go, Maharaj. I have some other seva. I am going. Huh? <laughs> Today we have to speak Natananda Tatta. I can see it in front of you. He gone. <laughs> so we, those those are weak people, have duplicity, duplicity. They cannot go. They cannot go in front of Maharaj. I have seen many times duplicity there. They cannot go in front of Maharaj. Can see the eyes and understand. One, our <coughs> Sagar Maharaj. He is actually our godfather, you know, but nice, you know, he was not so educated, but so many seva done from Udala. Paolo, one day he is crying in front of Santo Goswami Maharaj, Maharaj, nobody likes to stay in temple, what to do? Everybody likes to go here and there, actually enjoy life. Santo Maharaj, who told? Who told no Brahmachari can stay? Nobody is staying. Yes, they can stay. You will have to give them money and woman. They can stay in temple. Everybody started laughing. Who told they can stay? You will have to give one se sevika. Shevagna sevika. Message their leg lady and money. They can stay in temple. Ho, 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 Maharaj, that is study. This way, always used to give straight forward. Sometimes big, big Maharaj, they used to take me. You will have to take us to Santu Goswami because Maharaj love you. So I used to 
like Rishikesh Maharaj from Malaysia. He is originally from America, you, don't, you have never seen. You have already gone from this world. So many devotees, they used to take me and you come. We like to meet Santa Maharaj. They like to make some interview with Santa Maharaj. I stay in between. He used to speak, follow. So Maharaj is very happy with me, I don't know why. This way, though I am, you know, useless, but still, by the mercy of Maharaj, somehow I was uh, successful to do something, at least. Anyway, today I am going to stop. Harikatha time cannot permit. Our great Guru Bharga, one by one, if I discuss, you can go mad. They have some speciality. Not that everyone can get the same quality. Some quality is there, some quality is there, some quality. So all together they are going to do Guru Seva. I'm special, you know. Anyway, what is, you know, Tavad Bhayam Dubino Deho Svit Nimittam Tavad Spriha Paribhava Vipalos Chalovaha Tavad Mamo Iti Ashad Abhagra Arti Mulam Javan Na Te Angri Mabayam Prabhini Te Lokaha Vanchakalpatrasi ke paas in the bhaj. Patitanam pavana bhavashnat bhyot.